Hi everybody, hope you're all safe and well and welcome to the first of the Lockdown 3 weekly bulletins. There's lots of information to be giving you in the coming weeks and here's where you'll find it and also hopefully we'll be trying to provide you with some hints and tips to make sure that your learning is manageable. Firstly, I want to talk about this link on the bottom of the page down here. We've had lots of messages through in this first week, understandably asking for their Google Classroom codes. This link provided down here is exactly where you need to look if you haven't got one of your Google Classroom codes. And it is an expectation um, that you are in every single one of your uh, classrooms that you would normally be in face-to-face -face learning. So if you do struggle to find which classroom you're in, please look at the link below, click on it, and it will take you to every single class in the whole of the school. We as an academy do have an expectation of how many hours of work we would expect you to be doing each day. If you have a look at the top box up here, uh, there is a timetable and on that timetable it tells you how many hours per day, per subject, we will be expecting you to be doing. Now you'll notice up here I've put an example of the green and red alerts that you get on class charts just to remind you what they look like. Members of staff throughout lockdown will be wanting to praise and reward you either through the work bulletin or through class chat itself for all the hard work and effort you've been put in. So watch out for those alerts coming through. I have put, as you'll notice, the incomplete remote red alert. This is just to remind you what it looks like. And just to assure you, this is not an alert to say that we will be giving you a detention or any other type of punishment when you get back into school. This is just an alert. It alerts your parents and it alerts you that there's something wrong and that you haven't completed the work on time. It also alerts members of staff so that they can offer extra support and advice for you to complete that work to the best of its standard. Now this might come in a message through Google Classroom from your actual classroom teacher or it might come through a phone call from the head of department or myself or Mr Brian. 